You know, you're the type of person who will tolerate certain things. Okay? You have a big threshold for being patient, understanding. But when you're done, ooh, you will call them out. Mm-hmm. You will bring out that Excel spreadsheet and make sure that, listen, you remember this? You remember that? You don't take, you know, it's not a grudge thing. It's just like for you, it's like, I don't deal with no bull. You want to you wanna be a bull to me? You want to be a problem to me? Well, I'd be a problem to you too. So don't bring that to the table. Mm. So you ended it. Did you? Because you got a ten of swords. Okay, Virgos. Man, talk about your situation over here. Welcome to my channel, I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, finances, and your relationship. And this morning, I texted everyone. If you didn't know, I have an app, and I reached out there. So I sent them... I forgot what I sent today. <laughs> I even forgot what I sent today this morning. But <laughs> you can check it out. Okay. Oh, the Citrine Zodiac uh, bracelet. But you can check it out. Okay, it's such a clock. Okay, if you haven't, if you don't have my app, download it. It's available. You will see it. Okay, it's for free. And I text people there. <laughs> okay. Ten of Swords with the Six of Swords, you were, you felt like you could trust this person, but the way that they treated you was, you know, wasn't like that. I feel like you cannot stand another day of argument. It just doesn't. You are now facing, basically, with the world. You're trying to protect yourself because of this person. Ten of Swords. It's the hurtful words. And it's not about you being sensitive or anything because your seventh house is water sign and spices. You expected better coming from your person. So the betrayal can be something so big or it can be something little that you appreciate, meaning but they forgot. And Six of Swords is here. It's the feeling of uncertainty in the relationship. That's where you feel the betrayal. That they can give everything a direction in their life. So you'll see them do all these plans and everything. But then your connection with them is in the back burner. And there's not really an effort. No effort. Not, not ever. No effort. So you call them out for that. Definitely. You have a judgment. The sun... And the Page of Pentacles. What's the use of an apology, you say here? Maybe a Leo or a Scorpio. So your person here, Page of Pentacles with the Sun, tries to make things um, like, oh, you, you're worrying too much. You think too much. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. What do you want? You want me to say sorry? Fine, I'll say sorry. Uh, you know, it's like, that's not a sorry. And that triggered us, actually. Judgment with the five sorry. It triggered a lot, you know, coming from your end because you have run out of patience. So you told them about your expectation and how much you have been let down by them. Emotionally, I feel like... Um, you're at the point where Eight of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, you're ready to just walk away, emotionally detached, you know, like you just want to gather the pieces, you know, basically you're alive and start all over again. It's the on and off, I feel, that's why you're exhausted. It's like a roller coaster kind of relationship. Because I see that they're they're talking to you again. Uh, I feel like you're trying to reestablish yourself with your career, with your finances. Probably want to go on vacation also. Move, relocate with the Six of Swords and the Sun. Find a better place besides where you're at. So if you guys are living in together, then I do see here that you're really trying to channel your way out of like, oh, I don't want to be here in this living situation. But... 
with the judgment here, I feel like you still want to hear basically your person explaining themselves. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today, get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. So you want them to explain themselves. Okay. Now, just to change the aura and the energy, because it's a little bit like on the side here, I want you to be happy with the sun card. Because <laughs> we are now celebrating the Lunar New Year. It's the year of the Wood Dragon this weekend. But starting today, our best of the best seller is our natural citrine black obsidian. Okay. If you put this in your cart, you will get a real gold red thread bracelet. Yes. You get a free lucky charm right here, money magnet charm, and a free, this is a lucky money envelope. So there is a, there is a money inside it coming from me because it is a practice during this time of the year for the Lunar New Year that you put a dollar bill and then you give it to another person. So normally it has to be someone who's wealthy <laughs> who's giving it to you. I'm not saying I'm wealthy, but I just want to extend my gratitude towards you guys because I appreciate all the work that has always been here. You can get it now. I'll tag it in the video right here. And of course, the Virgo always deserves the best. I'll have it wrapped also. I have the envelope here. Okay, so I'll wrap it for you guys. Thank you very much, guys. Love you guys. Okay, so because it's the year, it's the Lunar New Year, the best time to manifest luck, love, prosperity, and good health. So that's why I put all those things together because you have love for the red bread, red bread, red thread, okay. prosperity, and then love, okay? So judgment is here. I'm going to extend it for you guys also because I keep yapping here. Thank you, Sal. Thank you. Judgment is here where you're still counting on that they will change. This is second chance, chance ish. Okay. Queen of Coins, you care. Seven of Pentacles, you're waiting for this opportunity. Okay. Now, let's see your person's energy towards you. There's a Leo, there's a Scorpio, there's Aquarius. So you're willing to give them a chance. And then there's a Sag. Okay, so just in case you don't know, your person's energy is like they're upset with you. Is right here. I don't know why. But their aura around you is like, I'm just upset. So if they're not talking to you, they're upset. But you're not a mind reader. So we wouldn't know that. So let's find out. Now, something will upset you because if they're upset, why'd they be hanging out, having party, going out, and all these things? That's so how they're upset. So this is their coping. But they don't want to talk to you. Okay. They're thinking, okay, about the relationship. Okay. You're definitely on their mind because there's a hermit here. That's you. That's your card. Now, to find out more about this reading, link in the comments for the extended reading. Ooh, why did we avoiding you? And visit our website, eatreadlove.me. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It is the Lunar New Year, so make sure you manifest that luck, that love, that prosperity, and that good health. I'll see you guys again.